Hey, what is up people? So in this video, I'm gonna show you my web design agency SOP, the entire standard operating procedure that we use to fulfill all of our work. Um, I have nothing to sell you. I'm literally without a t-shirt sitting here bare bones. So I've made some videos on YouTube previously showing you guys how um, my $300,000 per year web design agency, um, you know, just does some stuff and operates. And a lot of you guys have actually messaged me on these videos. You've sent me like literal messages on Instagram saying, Hey, show me the SOPs behind the agency. So I just wanted to show you it's real. I can obviously refresh this page, but you can see we've done like 300,000 or 350,000 pounds. That's almost $400,000 over the last year and a half. But if we look at the last year itself, uh, yeah, 12 months, you can see it's over $300,000. Obviously this month just started, so it looks like there's nothing, um, but it's cause we're just at the start of a new month. Last month I did like $60,000, which is like a million Rand or 52,000 pounds, um, which is my biggest month ever. It's, uh, very close to my second biggest month back in June, which was like nearly $50,000. But, um, yeah, that's just crazy to me. So here we go. These are my, these are my standard operating procedures. I'm going to like literally just run you through it. I don't mind take home, whatever is valuable to you. Um, I, like I said, I don't have anything to sell you. Who knows? Maybe one day in the future I might, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of value in this and what I do. And I've been thinking about, you know, copy pasting a lot of this into different niches, but, um, for now, Hey, here you can, you can have it all. Um, so this is the entire website development process step by step. So this is what my project manager would use. So just, just to give you some information, I do all the sales. So I'll find the clients, I'll sell them at this point in time, they kind of already know who I am. Uh, we've got ways to get clients in, which I might cover in another video. Um, I sell them a website for like $15,000, sometimes on payment plans, sometimes all the money up front. Um, but yeah, I do the sales and I bring them in. So <clears throat> what happens next is we send them the onboarding form. So we've got an onboarding form. We use Jot form for that. Um, I can show you what the onboarding form looks like so that you can kind of know what, um, you know, what, what, uh, what questions we ask on the onboarding form to help you a little better. I think we could honestly clean it up, <clears throat> but here we go. You know, in as many sentences as you like, describe your business. Oh, by the way, this is just like information on their business. So we know who it is. Uh, why should someone choose you? Price, quality, care, all this kind of information, like why should someone choose you? What's your brand special source? Uh, what makes your company unique? I'm in the roofing space, so you can see I'm in the roofing and construction space. That's why my company is called King Contractor Agency. Um, but honestly, there's so much money in all the different niches. You could do this in any niche. Um, then I've got some check boxes because I know what this, what, what the niche is like. So do you offer any of these services? Like you'd ask a dentist, do you offer teeth whitening, teeth cleaning, dentures or wh whatever the fuck it is. But, um, yeah, so we have these check boxes and this is conditional by the way. So if they check residential, then the residential one would appear and then they could check off from the residential. Uh, do you offer any additional services we don't have? Um, do you have discounts, credit finance options? Do you have any trust badges? We will go and find the graphics for them, just list them. So they would put like BBB, Google, um, Angie's, Yelp. Um, sometimes the manufacturers that they work with will go find the, the logos for the client. Um, do you have any features and benefits with working with you? What does the process look like? You know, what's the customer journey? This is important so that we can put the customer journey on the front of the website so that when the customers call them that they have as few questions as possible. We really just want to build trust in their mind, um, you know, before they even call my clients. So what are your preferred working areas? Up 10 to 20 suburbs. The reason I asked for this is because we actually build out pages for each one of these. These are location pages. And then we rank that on Google for that location and for that specific main service that they, that they have. So we write like a thousand words of content on that service in that location. And then we, we, we try and rank that on Google. Uh, what are the key messages, your vision, your views, what you're saying, two to three sentences on the company history, your key competitors, upload an image of the owner. So important. Like this is my selling point is that I don't just brand the company. I brand the owner to the company. So it's all about building trust, having that personality and that brand in the business. So, you know, I kind of give them an example of what I want. Do you have any frequently asked questions? And then just log in details if they already have a website. 
So that's the onboarding form. Once they complete the onboarding form, we will also send a welcome email. The project manager will. So the project manager is someone that I've hired that knows the ins and outs of website design, but they also know how to manage a team. So I don't, you know, I don't do much of the fulfillment myself. I will help where I need to, and I'll train where I need to. Obviously, as the CEO, I cannot step away. But um, the project manager, what they'll do is they'll make sure that the client's happy. They'll communicate with the client. Um, and they'll basically just make sure that this step-by-step process is executed. So whenever they, you know, they jump onto monday.com, which is where we do all of our project management, they can see. And by the way, you'll see that these steps are in line with the, with the SOP, like onboarding content design development it says onboarding content design development. So they'll come in and, you know, they'll, they'll try and move it along as according to the SOP. So they'll communicate with my designers and my developers and the clients and make sure that everything's working smoothly. Um, they'll also actually write the content. So that's the next part. Um, so what they would do then for the content and design is they'll, cr they'll create a folder in the Google Drive, so in the client folder, um, in the King Contractor Clients folder, they'll, they'll just go ahead and they'll create a, um, a file for the client and then they'll open up this website design brief document, which is a template. And I've done as much as I can to make it as simple as possible for them to make it their life really easy. So this is the design brief and the content documents in one with instructions. So the instructions before using is copy this folder into the client folder. So they would go file, make a copy, and then copy it into the client folder and then rename it. Um, remove the highlighted parts, populate the fields below, and then write the content using ChatGBT and the onboarding information that the client gave us. And then once we've done that, we'll give the, the document to the UI designer. So they would like literally just delete this, fill out the blanks, fill out all this information about the company, um, and then when the designer gets this, they'll have all the information, including a wireframe, br wireframe blueprint that I've written or created based on just like some research and um, conversion rates optimization. I've basically created this blueprint so, so that we know exactly what boxes to check on all of our websites. Um, so our designer uses that, plus some design examples we like. I tell them, do not copy these. These are examples of quality. Um, we really like the quality of, of these uh, designs. So, you know, this wasn't made by us. This was made by a competitor. Some of these websites were made by us, but this is just really the type of quality that we're looking for when we design a website. So we need to make sure it's on par with that. Um, and then for the content, this is the content. I've already laid out the structure with notes and suggestions, but they would just come in here and they would then use their own discretion. The blue notes are the, for the project manager, the yellow notes stay in, they're for the designer. So the project manager could give the designer notes in yellow and then the content would be without, um, you know, w w without any highlights or, you know, you know what I mean. Let me give you an example of a document. So I'm gonna go over here, American Veteran Roofing. So this is the web, this is the website design brief before it had the revamp, but this is, oh wait, no, this is not the right one. This is the, this is it. So we, the design brief and the content document used to be two separate files, but we've, we've combined them to be one really nice, good looking file like this. So this is basically version two of the SOP, so you're really lucky, I guess. Um, but here we go, this is literally what it looked like. This is the hero section, headline, subtitle, some notes. These are the trust badges. This is the review section, meet the team. So I've read all of the you know, onboarding information that the clients submitted to us, and then I use ChatGPT to help me articulate it. So we don't use ChatGPT to do our entire job, we just use it to articulate you know, what we're trying to convey but it does help us out a lot so this was the information that i ended up writing and if you want to see the badass web design that or the the design that my ui designer did literally from this information it's it's this check this out and then i love it because my designer will literally give me a few options um so let's just give it a sec to load and this guy's the, the name of his company is veteran american roofing so um, it's, it's really cool that it's very American style. I don't know why it's just, it's just not zooming in. So it's very like army style, which I just love, stars, stripes, and shingles. Um, 
just looks really cool, you know. So we've given him all this copy. You'll see this is literally from the same uh, copy on the content document. We've given him all the images. We've given him, given him the links to the Facebook and the previous website. And they've just gone and, you know, done a brilliant UI UX design and even given us a few different colors and revisions and options. So th that's this is generally um, how our designs would end up looking it's just really nice really cool looking um, designs even this one for this hvac company um so yeah that's the that's that section of the the sop so once we've done that we would then give that document to the ui designer they'll do the design it will come back from them we'll do one quality assurance sweep give them some notes some revisions we'll create a loom video like this sweep through the website say hey change this change this make this different and then the designer will come back and then give us the new updated design then um, we'll do more revisions if necessary. Then we'll show the client the design and get approval from approval to move into development. The nice thing about doing the design first with the dedicated designer before you do like just development, because most like website design people like literally just build the website with Elementor, is that um, we get to see what the design looks like before we start building it up. So it's not a massive upfront commitment. Um, you know, it literally costs us like two hundred. Two hundred dollars, maybe maybe a little more to get the design done. Um, so you know we're we're at a stage where we can offer to do the design upfront for clients, and if they don't like it, they don't pay. So we can like literally start doing the work upfront. Only costs us like two hundred fifty bucks, and once they see the work, they'll more than likely start wanting to work with us. So it's 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 a very low upfront commitment um, and it just looks good and then you also know what you're getting so then you don't need very skilled devs um, you just need guys that know css and can do complete custom design but you don't need devs that are designers you just need devs that are devs so yeah anyway so we give the devs the ui design they'll do they'll turn it into a pixel perfect website using uh, elementor pro um, we'll show the client the website um, once approved, we'll move on. We'll build out the five main pages, like the password, portfolio, contact, about us, all that good stuff. When the main pages are done, we'll build out the silo pages for the near me and the services pages. When those pages are done, we'll do one final quality assurance sweep, which I've got in another SOP. Um, this is the QA checklist, which we're not even using right now. I'm kind of just building on it. As you can see, it doesn't even you know, look cool or anything like that. Then we'll do the SEO. Um, I will... Uh, just give this off to another guy, it's like another 100 to 200 dollars. He'll do all the on page and technical for like all 50 pages. Really good deal, by the way, guys. You can find these people on Fiverr. Um, yeah, just keep looking. The talent is in there. It might be like five percent of the people on there. That's really good, but you will find them. Um, launch and offboarding, then we'll launch and offboard. So, the way that I collect payments is that I'll collect um, as much upfront as possible, and then I'll do payment plans for like 2500 bucks per month um over you know over the next few months until it's paid off that's why my mrr is like nearly twenty thousand dollars that obviously doesn't include the seo that we're busy doing i think we've got like eight thousand or ten thousand dollars in seo retainers um but yeah that's the that's the website development sop if there's anything else that i can think of that might help you um yeah, like just find the designers on Fiverr and then um, make sure you've got an onboarding form, send the client the onboarding form, you write the content first, give the content to the designer, you know, create a Google Drive, put all the images in there, put the content folder in there, give that to the designer, they'll design it, give that to devs. Go, go on to Facebook groups, find devs that, that are like $10 an hour, like honestly, they don't, they don't have to be expensive. Um, and then I use Time Doctor to track all of my stuff um, which like literally takes screenshots every few minutes and shows like time tracking and activity. So you can see we've done 402 hours over the last 30 days, but it shows like what websites we're busy working on, um, how many hours per day, um, you know, idle time, idle percentage, stuff like that. So it's, it's just a really cool um, software. Um, I can literally see keyboard and mouse movement um, to know, you know, who's working, not working. You can go through the screenshots, but we, we just use it as a time tracker because I pay based on time to my devs. And then for the designers, we pay, we pay based on design. And then for the project manager, um, 
the project managers onshore, so the project manager is American, to make my clients feel better. So they're the, the highest paid in this. Um, pay them like $1,000 per website just to manage it. Step like A to Z, the whole process. Um, yeah, and that's it. And we charge like 10000 to 15000 per website. We do a kick-ass job. The client gets really good results. Um, I could show you like a pretty standard type of website that we do um like this one is vanguard for i can see the client logged in and, and did some stuff like it didn't always look like this once the design is done what we'll sometimes do is we'll, we'll give the hero section to like someone on fiverr that does like slider revolution animations and then we'll do that and it'll just like look really cool um and that's that's kind of how you could like top off a really just badass looking looking website but yeah i hope that this video helps you if you found this valuable uh please consider giving me a follow on instagram my instagram is dean x white just like this um that would mean a lot to me send me a, send me a message let me the, let me know that it's helped you um my other instagram because i just started a new one is dean white x so yeah follow both these instagrams send me a message um it means the world to me thank you so much Bye-bye.